Hello and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today for you guys I'm going to do my April book haul. Now admittedly this is going to be a very small haul video because I've only bought like three books in April this time around, mainly because of a lack of money, but also I have way too many books on my TBR lists already. Um, but I have received a couple of our proofs through, which I thought I'd share with you guys because I'm excited about those. So I thought I'd just share it all with you guys today. So let's start with the books that I've been buying. The first book I bought was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Alvitali. Now this is a book I've wanted to read for a while because um, I applied for a proof and unfortunately I didn't get one. Um, so when I saw that it came out, I just had to go and pick up myself a copy. So the book is about a boy named Simon who is 16 years old and he's at that stage in his life where he's trying to figure out who he is and what he's doing with his life. Um, there was fallen for a boy named Blue and now he sends Blue a very personal email um, but it falls into the wrong hands and things start to go a bit skewer. Now I've said on this channel before that I do enjoy YA novels that delve into sort of sexuality, gender at such a young age because I think they're a great, great resource for teenagers. Um, so I was really excited to read this. I really like the cover. I thought it was a really nice cover. Uh, I really like the title as well. I like the play on words on the Homo Sapiens. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting twist. Um, so I'm very excited to read this. Hopefully I'm going to be reading this shortly. Next on my list I picked up How To Be Both by Ali Smith. Now I don't know if you can see under the title blue it's won a whole bunch of awards and there are a lot of people talking about this book. It's kind of a two-way story about an artist in the 1800s, 1460s sorry, and a child of the 1960s and I think it's like a two-way parallel story from what I gather. Um, it's supposed to be very good like I said it's won a whole bunch of awards um, and it's just come out in paperback and I just thought I'd pick up a copy and give it a go. Um, I have no idea what else the book's about apart from what's written on the back. Um, so I just thought it's like my random choice uh, for the month which I usually do, I usually buy one book that I'm not 100% sure what it's about. Um, but it looks good and with the winning, winning a whole bunch of awards I just thought I'd give it a go really. Next on my list is a book that has been all over booktube and just about everywhere else and it is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Now I was going to wait until this came out in paperback but so many people are talking about it and it's, it's been that book that I've kind of been toying with. I'm like every time I've seen it I'm like I want to buy it, I really do, but do I want it in a heart? Hardback, shall I just wait for the paperback? But I caved, I went and bought the hardback um, so because the paperback's not going to be out until like January or something ridiculous. So um, I really like the cover of this as well. I saw the American cover, which I'm not 100% keen on, uh, but I think we got a really nice cover. So that's, that's one of the reasons I bought it. But yeah, it's supposed to be very Gone Girl esque, um, which I did enjoy Gone Girl. I hated the ending, but <laughs> I've told you that before. Um, but yeah, I really want to. I've actually started reading this. I'm only about 10% of the way through. Really enjoying it so far. Um, I just I needed something to pull me away from Game of Thrones for a bit, so I chose this. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully it's going to live up to the expectations that it has been set by the book world, essentially. Now those are the only books that I have purchased during April. But like I said, I've been sent a couple of proofs, and I'm going to share those with you as well. Now the first proof I got through was The Last Summer of Us by Maggie Harcourt. Now I got sent this about a month ago. I haven't had chance to read it yet and I believe the book has actually started appearing in bookshops already um, but it sounds a pretty good novel it's the story of a road trip between three friends you know um, full of regrets secrets kind of kind of a very typical YA novel but you know the cover kind of struck me as interesting um, so I'm hoping and I kind of like the idea on the back so hopefully it's gonna be a good read um, I'll try and get this read as soon as possible and get a review up for you guys because um, like I said it has started appearing in bookshops already so I want to get this read fairly quickly so that's the first proof the next proof I got through I was so excited when it appeared in my pigeonhole it's the rest of us just live here by Patrick Ness now I haven't really read much of Patrick Ness's work but I have he is on like my two buy list because um, I have seen a bunch of his books that I kind of like the look of and I feel like I should read them um, but I got this one through this book doesn't actually come out until August and I know a lot of people are already excited about it and I'm so thankful that I got managed to get my hands on a proof copy of it so I can read it um, a couple of my colleagues have already read it who I work with and they said how good it was um, so it, that's making me even more excited to start it and read it um, so yeah again hopefully it comes out in around August time so hopefully I can have it finished by that point and have it reviewed as well for you guys to check out so that's it for my mini haul video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you've checked out any of the books that I've picked up or if you're excited for any of the proofs that I got. Um, yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all lovely and I'll see you on Monday with a brand new video. Goodbye!
end of the video bit. So I hope you liked this video. Like I said, um, a lack of money has prevented me buying a crap ton of books, which is what I usually do. Um, but I still bought a few and I just wanted to show you guys what I got a hold of. So let me know in the comments below if you're excited for anything I picked up or if you're excited for either of the proofs that I've got as well. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had lovely weekends. Um, I haven't decided on what my video will be on Monday, so I'm just going to leave you in suspense on that one and you can just wait and see. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys as always for commenting, liking, subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. It really does. And thank you. Really, I just want to say a thank you. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys are well. Have lovely weekends and I'll see you on Monday with a new video. Goodbye.